Am I the only YouTuber? Like, I can't film unless, like, it's clean around me. Like, if it's not clean, I can't film. I can't start. Anyway, hi! So, today is a good day because I am doing full face of Juvia's place. I'll be trying to tell y'all I got bars, but you're hard of hearing. Now, I did have a few products already. My foundation, y'all already know, it's the video that I think is like the best video on my channel. To be honest, the Juvia's Place Foundation Review, I had that same bottle. I just ran out of that bottle of foundation a few days ago, last week sometime. I remember throwing it away like Michelle, like it's over. Mm. Y'all, I think that video was over a year old and it came out June 2019. All right, so I went to Ulta. I love this. I love accomplishments like these. Biggest compliments of my life. So all of these things was $110. $110. I don't regret it. I don't regret it. So if you like videos like these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna do a few because I'd be interested in these brands' products. And I feel like if I don't do things like this, like a full face of a brand, then I'll never try and, you know, see what it is they have to offer. And so I feel like this is gonna help me with that. Branching out. So, subscribe. If not, okay. I don't wanna interrupt your day because I'm stressing you out because you don't even like me. I don't wanna stress you out. I want everyone to be peaceful. Um. But let's get started. Here we go. So for foundation, y'all know what my shade was Angola. Like, ain't nobody gonna tell me that Angola ain't gonna look good on me. Sorry. Hold on, hold please. So this time, I actually got two foundation shades. Let me tell you why. I knew Angola was slightly deep on me, but it matched my neck, which is deeper than me, which is why I was okay with using it. Like, it's fine. It's fine. And it's still fine today. Let me let you know. Nothing has changed. All right. So we have Angola right here. The one above... Angola, I believe is Kano. Kano is a warm undertone foundation and I did not get that because I am yellow. Okay, I have yellow golden undertones. So I got the one above that which is Kenya and it's deep with warm golden undertones. So I bought this one as well just to see what it would give. I feel like it may be a little too light. Should I mix them together? I don't know, but we are gonna figure it out. I'm gonna get one of my good brushes over here Blend this out. This is so full cover. Yo. Okay. 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 Y'all, this is not a bad color together. It looks warm on camera. In person, it doesn't look that warm. Let me see. Let me grab Angola right quick. This is Angola by itself. So y'all tell me. Y'all tell me. Mm -hmm. Angola, the mixture. Angola, Angola is just so good to me though. It's really, it does good things to me. It loves me right, it holds me tight in the middle of the night. It makes it all right. No, but seriously, look at the face, look at the neck. Nice tone going on. I wore this shirt on purpose because I am going to highlight to the chest. Moving on, I already own the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number eight. It is nicely close to my skin tone and it actually doesn't do too much of a highlight. And this is buildable coverage, I feel. Not completely full coverage, there's no, I don't think it's, is it Tarte Shape Tape? Okay, so I have another one, which is a lighter shade. It's so beautiful. I got this shade because recently I bought the Born This Way Concealer in the shade Mocha, which is lighter, but oh, y'all. I know this is a dubious place video, but this is a bomb concealer. <laughs> So this is number nine, but yeah, this is a beautiful shade as well, and it is literally the color of my chest. Okay, now this is nothing new to my channel, but I have been using their foundation stick, which is bomb. Juvia's Place foundation sticks are amazing. They're so good, and I use the shade Congo. It's so much darker than me, y'all, but when I use this to cream contour, and I do my bronzer, and I put my face powder on, this is perfect for me. Take a really dense brush. You can just see how deep that is. It's so deep, y'all. It's just extreme, honestly. But with my other products on top of this, I promise you, this does what I need. All right, folks, so I got it nice and blended out. We're looking good. I did graze the residue of the foundation stick on the sides of my nose and then went over it like with my uh, concealer sponge. So for powder, there are actually three shades. So there's a, this light, this is the lightest shade. They have a medium brownish shade and then they have a deeper one. I have been straying away from using deeper shades of powders because I don't know what companies are doing, but they're not making them yellow enough. And I have two yellow powders that I like that I actually do use, but the deeper ones, they're making them so warm. 
and they don't look good on me. <laughs> and so their lightest one is called White Sands. Where are the twins? Oh, oh. It does have a yellow tint to it, which I like. Like, it's not like white powder. I know it looks white to y'all, but there's a cream yellowish in there, and I like it. So I'm gonna put excess back on the back of my hand, and this is what I'll be using. I'm gonna flip this sponge over, hit the creases, keep the eyes wide, and press this in. Y'all, I love the way this powder looks. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Just take light, light layers at a time and really press it into the skin. Okay, so we're gonna get into the eyes now. I have a few <laughs> Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes already. I'm gonna use a mixture of everything. I just want y'all to know the bottom line is, is that Juvia's Place is some of the best eyeshadows on the market for a low price. People are still trying to figure out how they're doing it. Just know they're doing it. That's all we need to know and we will take that and we will move on with that. Just know, they their eyeshadows are crazy. They're insane, the quality, and you're gonna see right now. I wanna do a very um, bronzy, golden shimmer type of look today because I have a special eyeliner I wanna use, and I think it's gonna be good. I just want you guys to see the magic. I don't wanna talk too much. Warrior two, but I'm just gonna get into it here. So this, you know, here you go. Dare. Like a ram, like a ram in a bush. I'm no, we're pushing you this season. I'm tired of this. No, no. Friends be calling you with some mess. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes those friends are named Derek. Okay, they call you with your mess and they just ruin everything for you. You don't let those friends bother you. You move on. That's right. Because he's not gonna interrupt me, today. So I bought this liner, y'all. The Midnight Blue pencil liner. Look at this. I'm putting it in my waterline. It's going on the waterline. It's going on the waterline. Yeah. So this eye is watering. Look, tearing up bad. And it's cause I put my eyeshadow on with my eyes open. When you put your eyeshadow on, y'all close your eye. I'm gonna put on some mascara. Maybe a little bit of a black line at the top up there. But let me throw on a little line, some mascara and some lashes and then we'll finish up the skin. Hit the lip and we'll be out of here. All right, so the eyes are completed. I love this. I took the shade in the Nubian 2 palette called, the one I put a little bit in my eye. Oh, the name is completely gone. Okay, but it's this blue one right here, and I smudged that on my lower lash line right under that midnight blue liner, and y'all, it's so cute. Now we're gonna bronze up the face and you know do contouring and things like that, which is always my favorite part. They have the bronze collection out right now. If you're a makeup artist and you know you got clients and all that good stuff, you need to go buy all the bronzers. They fit everyone. There's not one bronzer that they have that doesn't fit someone. So I'm gonna take Deep Dark first and I mix the both of them together. And let's bronze up here. And while I'm bronzing, I do wanna let y'all know I did set the face. They don't have like pressed face powders, which is my preference to use on my face. So I just use my Morphe Filter 14 powder mixed with my 360 Mocha powder by Maybelline. Remember, which is where we put that Congo foundation stick. Use this fluffy brush here and I'm gonna use that on the sides of the nose. This is a lip liner in the shade Scorpio. Um, I thought it was dark brown. When I picked it, this is so creamy. <laughs> This would make lips go less uh, so much quicker when I do people's makeup because if your lip liner is not creamy, you're gonna spend all day lining lips. That's such a beautiful color too. I got this lipstick and a lip gloss because I just know I love lip gloss. So I just got it, you know, because I look. <laughs> but I did get this lipstick, it's called Perfect Red. It is the perfect red. <laughs> it absolutely is. Yeah, y'all, this is, this is a perfect red. It is, it's got that nice deep blue undertone. I'm just gonna highlight with my Anastasia Glow Kit. It's the one I have that's like the most like Juvia's Place. But y'all, Juvia's Place, just know, 
<laughs> Juvia's face highlighters are insane. Like your glow will look like you have a forever setting spray. Like you set your you sprayed your face and the spray never went away. Like you'll look wet. Like that's how that's how their highlighters look. I'm gonna spray and we're gonna get ourselves together. Okay, so I turn down a little bit of the darkness of the camera so y'all can see things a little more true to color. So yeah, y'all, I'm really feeling this. We know Juvia's place is great. I'm feeling the blue on the lower lash line. I love that touch, this perfect red, and it really is. I really recommend getting this perfect red. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will be coming with more brands because I'm really, really liking this. I just like discovering new stuff. I think it's my thing. It's gonna be my thing for a while. All right, well, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.